Hey, what is up guys? It's Derek from the Baseball Channel coming at you again today with yet another video. And today it is one that I've been needing to make for a while and that is oiling my custom A2000. It's gotten pretty worn. I wouldn't say it's cracking, maybe a little bit on the palm of the glove. It's getting a little bit rough, but I think a little bit of oil should be good. Maybe a lot of bit because it's been a while. Not a ton, but uh, I'm going to switch angles and we'll do that. So I'll meet you there. Alright guys, so now we are just going to, uh, we're using, uh, let's see. Nakona um, Classic Glove Conditioner. I really like it. It's pretty solid. This is more than I would normally use just because this glove is really desperate. I'm just going to start off with about that much. It'll be a, yeah, that, you can see that. We're just going to go ahead and uh, spread it all the way around this glove. So a little bit. Oh boy. A little bit there. A little there. A little there. A little there. A little bit more there, and then a lot. You want to put a lot in the middle, and then kind of work your way around. That's what I found is a good way to do it. So we're just going to uh, go ahead and rub all this in. Um, guys, so some things to note. You want to get all the lace. Don't hesitate to lace your to oil your lace. It needs just as much love, if not more. Once that lace starts to get dry, you do run the risk of it cracking, which cracking leads to snapping, and that is definitely not what you want. So this right now looks super dark, and that's good because it's all going to get absorbed. So don't get too worried about that. Alright guys, so now that's basically rubbed in. So as you can see, this is definitely a lot darker. Um, so I'm just going to let this sit for um, about a minute, and then um, I'll show you what to do after that. Alright guys, so now what you're going to do, um, I like getting like a torn up piece of t-shirt. That's I got that idea from the Glove Bros. Or a rag, washcloth, something like that. But this is really pretty flimsy, and you can uh, get into the nooks and crannies, which is what you want. And so this is probably one of the most important parts. You are just going to rub the thing down, and uh, hopefully you'll get a ton of oil and dirt off the glove, because you really don't want all this sitting on it, because your glove will get a lot heavier. That's why you don't really want to oil it all the time. You need to find the happy middle between not oiling it so much where it gets heavy, not only waiting too long where it starts to crack, which is what I hope I didn't do. So really just the whole inside of the glove, you're going to uh, wipe. Um, pretty thoroughly. Alright, so there, as you can see, uh, this did get uh, pretty dirty. The camera's kind of blasting it out, so it's a little hard to tell. But overall, pretty good. I like the way this turned out. I may put a little bit more on in some spot locations, but I won't for the sake of this video. Um, so now we are going to do uh, kind of the back of the glove and then some binding in a little bit on the uh, inside of the palm because it is start that's like probably the worst place it's um, starting to kind of maybe crack I hope not and then we're gonna do the uh, binding uh, all through here and uh, maybe a little bit more on the fingers and then yeah we should be good so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and again guys with the palm that is more oil than I would normally apply and that's just because this is very very dry and it really needs it it's been a while now I'm gonna go start with the back of the glove this part I'm gonna use very little because it's really not nearly as bad I don't wanna overdo it so for the back that's really all I'm using uh, guys just remember a little bit goes a very very long way so don't seep a ton on at once cuz I don't wanna say you'll ruin your glove but you can uh, definitely mess it up some there as you can see I just put like a tiny bit there there and there and then I'll spread that around now I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the palm, kind of along here, along here, and along here. This part of the wrist definitely likes to crack, so be careful with that. Here, I'm just going to rub this along the finger. Again, remember not to be shy about the lace, um, or the web for that matter, it all needs it. 
and really just, you know, give it a good rub. I don't think the wrist really needs it. Give that a little bit. Go around this here. Alright, so now we are going to do the uh, inside. Probably one of the most important parts right now for me. Um, just because this part is really getting dry. See so, yeah, it, just getting there. Um, it's a little hard for you guys to get in there. But you, you get the gif. Now we're going to go along here. Now we're just going to go along the tops of the fingers. Um, yeah, and that should be good. Um, you guys, if you're following at home, you may want to uh, do a tiny bit in some spot locations. But I think for the most part, this should be good. I also recommend doing this if you're not going to be playing or using your glove for the next couple days. Um, just to really give it time to seep in. At the same time, you want to make sure you're wiping it, getting all the excess oil off. I'm still going to wipe the uh, back and all around one more time, maybe a couple more times, depending on how it turns out. Just to, you know, get that excess off. You know, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. It feels pretty good. I really like this oil just for um, doing this sort of thing. And I definitely recommend doing this for your glove if you start f if you start feeling cracking, if you start feeling like it needs some oil. I wouldn't do this more than, I don't know, once a month, depending on how much you play, how dry the fields are that you play on, stuff like that. I wouldn't overdo it because you certainly can. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, oiling is definitely something that needs to be done periodically. It really does extend the life of your glove. I truly believe that it helps bring color back, stuff like that. Don't get scared once you do it immediately because it is going to look darker. It'll go back uh, unless you really overdo it. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and play ball. This is the Baseball Channel.